Strange Fruit Tree by Paula Palmer Green. This is my Nana, and she loves to plant trees and flowers in her yard. Sometimes she lets me help. One day, Nana and I were swinging on her swing, and I noticed something on one of her trees. I ran to see what it was and began to take a bite. Nana yelled at me. Kyrie, you know better. Don't put that in your mouth. Nana, it's okay. I know what it is. My Sunday school teacher, Miss Green, told me all about it. She said when we ask Jesus to come into our heart, he gives us a special fruit. She said it's called the fruit of the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit is how we're supposed to be towards ourselves and others. Wow, Kyrie, said Nana. I'm so proud of you. I didn't know about the fruit of the Spirit. Are you sure it's not fruits of the Spirit? No, Nana, said Kyrie. One fruit cut into nine slices. God made it that way. Nine different slices that make up one fruit. And guess what, Nana? Guess how I remembered them. I think of nine people in my class whose names begin with each of the qualities, and I made a little song. Larry is love. Jalen is joy. Paul is peace. Paula is patience. Kyrie is kindness. Grant is goodness. Freddie is faithfulness. Grace is gentleness. And Sally is self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Miss Green said the fruit of the Spirit is nine ways that Jesus wants us to be. She said the nine ways make up one fruit. The nine ways are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Nana, Miss Green said we should love everybody even when they act badly. We should be happy and have joy in our hearts. We should be calm and peaceful. We should not get angry when it takes longer than we want it to take. We should be kind by sharing and saying nice things to others. We should always be good we should believe in God and have faith that even though we can't see him, he hears our prayers and has the whole world in his hands. We should be sweet to other people and we should control ourselves by not doing things that are bad for us. That night, before Kyrie went to bed, he said his prayers. He thanked God 
for letting him tell his Nana about the fruit of the Spirit. He asked God to keep growing fruit in Nana's yard and heart. And he asked God to help you remember the fruit of the Spirit too. Nana went over to Kyrie, gave him a big hug and said, Kyrie, why should we ask Jesus to come into our heart? Kyrie sat up and said, Nana, when you ask Jesus to come into your heart, his spirit comes inside of you and guides you through life. Do you want to know how to ask him? It's easy. I learned that in Sunday school too. All you have to do is remember A, B, C. A, admit that you are a sinner. B, believe that Jesus is God's only son and chose to die on a cross for you. C. Commit yourself to a life of following Jesus and serving others. Afterwards, Nana went into her bedroom and said the ABC like Kyrie told her to. She admitted that she was a sinner and had made mistakes. She said in her prayer that she believed that Jesus was God's only son who chose to die on a cross for her. And she made a commitment to follow Jesus and serve others. She thanked Jesus for coming into her heart and giving her the fruit of the Spirit too. From that day forward, Nana had love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control all the days of her life. The End Excellent job, readers. The end. <laughs> and as always, please remember to subscribe. Thank you. <laughs>